you know, because of paint buildup and whatnot, you don't want to, you know, get it inside there and then it makes everything work a little hard and trying to line stuff up. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. Use a rolling effect under a blade. No, I should be using a better blade because the tip's gone on this one and you got to clean up. Got to ferrule the inside just a little bit. Yeah, that's just enough there. So, now you got this. Slip it in. Seems how that's a new end. I'm going to put it on this way. There's that one. And we got to ferrule the end here. Yeah, it'd work better if I had a little better tip. <laughs> so, alrighty. Let's go ahead and mark this one. Stay right there. Fairly close to it. I like using a lead pencil. With the, um, where you can bring it out. You know, by clicking it. Okay. Next one, roll it. A little pressure. Don't go too much because you'll shoot that piece everywhere. But I have a towel here that I'm working on, so stuff don't get, you know, too far. Because it's annoying when you cut it and it takes off. Make sure that's cleaned out. Make sure it fits on. Yes, it does. Okay, so I'm going to turn it around. And there's that one. Everything's really good. I'm going to switch these, I think. That'll work there. And that'll work there. I notice there's a little burr on it. Yep, just a little bit of a burr. So I'm going to grab a fingernail board. And try to round it off a little bit. And uh, let's see if that, uh, see if I can feel it now. Nope, that's good. Okay. Now is the tricky part. We'll bring the body over. Uh, let me see who's uh, texting me here. Okay, now let's bring the body over, and uh, as you can see, I got her somewhat stripped. Um, this part wasn't in the uh, solution, so I'll have to go back. I'll get that out. Not a big deal. The door, I lined up with the uh, body molding, so it's nice and straight, and then I taped on it. It doesn't matter if you're back too far or front too far, just as long as you got the gaps right down at the bottom, and everything else just lines up. Because you can adjust that door, you know, because like I said, I'm not gluing it on these tubes that I'm gluing to the door. So, I'll go ahead and put this in. Got to find something to, uh, let's try this. That'll work. Mini clothespin to the rescue. Okay. So now, now they got to set in there, we have to check a couple things like, you know, when I said to do 90 everything, it just gets you started. Now, I'm going to have to pull this back out and I'm going to have to bring these back a little bit so they're, so they're flush. I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see that, but I don't know if it will. Might be able to see. Now you can't see that these pieces are kicked up. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'll do it another way here. I'll insert some pictures. So, 
so I'll be able to send uh, when I do this video I'll be able to include the picture so you can actually see it so that'll work for that part Okay, pull these back out, pull this off, pull this off, so now you're going to have to probably have to hold it, and I'd, I'd recommend it back here, so I need to bend it back just a little bit, both of them, so yeah, you're not, not getting a full view there because I uh, zoomed it in. And let's give this one, let's give this one just a little bit more. We'll try to match the other side. And it's matched. Let's slip these back in. And then uh, put this piece back on. There we go. That's a little better. Now, the part that gets tricky is... Because of the body, it's um, got a curvature to it. We need to tweak them. We got to move the uh, each one of these little rods just a little bit, so just so it lays flat. Because if yeah, you can't see there. <laughs> Let me go ahead and zoom this back out. Gives you an idea. You're just missing a lot of stuff here. I don't want to do that. So we'll leave it right there. I'll take this back out and I need to grab grab it like this and give it a little tweak not much just a little bit and check to see if you're going the right way which I'm not of course so easy to cure we just go back the other way with it okay that's off just a little bit so we'll see there we go. It's getting a little better. So, got to move her just a little bit more. You know, taking this extra precaution here, you know, making sure everything's going to line up. It's well worth it in the end. So, there's that one. So, what we need to do is, need to figure out, you know, right up right about there okay so this one I have to move we got to bend it in just a little bit so take this off and uh, we'll stick it on here because we want to uh, don't want to move this um, curve I put in there too much so I'll give it just that's probably too much it don't take much so let's go ahead and slip this out There, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere, that'll work. So, now you wanna make sure with this opening, you wanna have it moved forward just a little bit. I go almost like an eighth inch from the end, which I like to put like right there. So that, that's, that's pretty darn close. I'm happy with that. So you got to get everything bent so when you open a door, you don't go open and then, you know, go down at an angle. You want it to go straight. So, I wonder if there's anything else I got to I gotta tweak here. Because it's really close to being uh, going in there now, so. there double check this the angles kind of tricky with the camera for something like this but let's uh, I'm gonna try moving it a little bit I want to bring her down so bear with me might get a little dizzy
Yeah, you can almost make it out there, huh? I suppose I could go this way. There we go. And you can see that's how I want it to sit in there. Like I said, it's really, really close. Um, if you if you see, I tweak it just a little more here. And what that entails is just bending these down a little bit more. I got everything just about aimed right. So, take this out. I'll go ahead and uh, tweak these down just a little bit. I'll go in and do this one. I said it gets you pretty much in the ballpark there. Remember these pieces are small, my big fingers, yeah it's fun. So get that put in there. And there we go. We have perfect alignment. So tricky part now is to get her lined up where we want it which is right there let me bring her in just a little bit here we go now the tricky part is I'm going to super glue it into place and then uh We'll go from there. That's the hard part because you got to try to hold these. So uh, because that's where I want it to go. So I'm going to give it a little super glue. Work real there. That'll work. Let me use my pencil here so it don't move. Gonna move a little bit. Gotta make sure she's perfectly straight up and down. So there's that one. We'll put a little here. And a little there, my super glue is a little cold. Alrighty, so we're gonna let that set, and then uh, I'll come back, and uh, if everything's set up, I'll glue on the other side of these uh, tubes, the alignment tubes, and uh, we'll give that a look see. And then, if all goes well, we can take the tape off and uh, get to try it out. So bear with me and uh, we'll be back. Now, okay, it's been about an hour. Let's, uh, I guess, let's take the tape off. That's what she looks like again. And uh, be very careful taking the tape off. You wanna pull the one off by the hinge first and you wanna pull, not up, but back, holding the door there. Look, I am. This. Okay. Now it gets really, it's a little trickier. You don't want to pop anything you just welded, so. Well, moment of truth. Shall we see how she works? Everything's lined up. And see the uh, the cutouts I was talking about? Let's go ahead and uh, zoom in here so you can see what I'm talking about. There you go. See how I did the, uh, the U-shaped arch?
there's that one. Only one more to go. You know, I'll have to put door stops in here. You know, I'll have to put a threshold. But the best part, bingo. That's where it's supposed to be. That's where it's supposed to be. Everything works nice and free, real easy. There we go. There's the inside view. Everything looks good. Everything's put in a good spot. And then, and then you have that. So when we get ready to paint it, we'll put it in like so. That'll work for there. And, uh, but you've got to have these little uh, U-shaped bends in it because it's got to fit past the uh, door opening. Like a so. So there we go. What do you think? <laughs> so I'm cool. I still got one more to do, but I haven't done anything with the door yet. Which is here. I've got to get the uh, the inside all cleaned up. It's got all the uh, the wire and everything else in there. So we're gonna get that uh that cleaned up and uh, that'll do her so I'm going to go ahead and get a wide angle here so I can uh, run down and get this uploaded so you all can see it today sometime today so well until the next installment next episode y'all be good and uh, we shall return Okay, folks, I finished up the uh, the other hinge. It's drying now. Got the other old hinge taken off there. I got the door cleaned up the best I could. And uh, started putting uh, door jams in. I don't know if you can see that. So, got them going. I'm um, have to build this side up. Get the door jam in there. Then I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the chassis and stuff. Um... Plus the uh, threshold. Um, I'll have to look into that once I get a little farther along. But I just glued that hinge in, so I'm going to let it sit for now. I'll come back up a little later and, uh, well, we'll see how she looks. <laughs> so I just wanted to update you real quick on that. Um, got that one all made and set in there. So sure hope this helps you guys. Um, just a little way I do it, you know, how I do stuff. Um, may not be correct and may not be right but it works for me and feel free to try it or modify it or any which way that works for you so this is just to get you in the door there you know get the kit open and look and then go beyond that so i don't mind helping out doing the best i can and uh, trying to reply to the comments and the questions that are asked i'll do that you know as soon as i can as well um but for now, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video because I got like three, four, something like that to upload today. So, alrighty. Until the next episode, don't glue your fingers together. Have a good one.